Now, another story that we are tracking this morning comes from the World Cup, and a prominent American sports journalist has died. Grant Wall collapsed at a match last night, and he was just 48 years old. You might recognize his name. That's after a recent Twitter post of his went viral when he claimed he was refused entry to a World Cup match a couple of weeks ago for wearing a shirt with a rainbow flag. We spoke to fellow soccer journalist Peter Galindo last hour, and he uh, talked about the legacy Wall leaves behind. He is a pioneer in, in the North American soccer journalism world, but more than that, he was also a reporter who wasn't afraid to talk about the hard issues and always made time for young up-and-coming journalists. Um, there were stories when he was laid off at Sports Illustrated along with dozens of others. He actually helped pass along resumes of the editors and, and the backroom staff to get them jobs elsewhere. And, and, you know, that's just the kind of person he was, which is what makes this even more sad. Tell us more about who he was personally and what he was like to work with. He, he never really had an issue whenever, no matter how busy he was, no matter what was on his plate, he always made time for people, especially young journalists. And that was the, the great thing about Grant is that even though he was this big time soccer reporter, he always had time for everybody and always wanted to make sure that he was supporting others and, and bigging people up because that's the, the one thing about especially the North American soccer community. It's so small. It's quite niche that you kind of need to support each other to help the sport as well as the media division grow. And mm. he recognized that more than anybody else. And it's because of journalists like him that I have a job now in this industry, that so many others have a job in the industry and, and just such a, a kind hearted person who, again, as I mentioned off the top, he was not afraid to dive into the, the tough stories that maybe not everybody wanted to cover. And, and that's somebody that you can aspire to be. And that's why, again, he's going to be just so deeply missed. Canadian soccer journalist Peter Galindo speaking with me earlier from Galway, Ireland.